Hello, this is Philip, and welcome to my channel for this new episode about control system. Uh, this is a scripting mod for uh, KSP2. Uh, we are on the launchpad with a Padbury common. This is a very uh, small rocket because I have started a new uh, exploration game. Because today I want to talk about experiments and science. And uh, science are available in the... Uh, exploration game and not in the uh, sandbox uh, game. So this is why I have this uh, little uh, rocket. Um, the button is uh, blinking here, that means that I have experiments to uh, run, but after before that I want to uh, print which experiments are available uh, for my uh, rocket here. So I created a new science script, okay, and that's unscript for now, it's just that. Um, so this is the uh, main flight uh, function. Uh, I need to uh, uh, use a parameter. Okay, this is my ship and uh, I want to print science and for now the print science function only clears the console. Okay, uh, this is my uh, setup. This will be my, uh, to say that, my default setup for now because I always need the vessel type from KSP vessel. I need the console from KSP console. I need this function from uh, KSP uh, game. And then I like to use a format for, um, from core strings uh, because I can use this to uh, print some numbers. Okay, uh, so this is my uh, print science and I want to uh, check all the experiments I have uh, in my uh, ship here. So uh, for that, I can use the documentation of uh, control system 2. This is the vessel type from KSP uh, vessel. Okay, so KSP vessel and this is the vessel type. And uh, if you look at different things here, you have access to parts and parts uh, as a type KSP vessel part with a uh, uppercase uh, P and uh, there is some brackets here square brackets that means that part is an array or is a list okay so uh, to start I can uh, first look at uh, the list of that uh, of all the parts of my vessel and uh, for that part I can uh, look at all of this and there is one particular uh, suffix of fields I uh, need to look at is that one is science experiment and this is a boolean so the answer is true or false. So for each part I can look at uh, uh, that boolean and then I can for example uh, print the name of the part with part name. Okay, so uh, this should be easy uh, here. So I just have to uh, run a loop for, so for all my parts in uh, craft parts. Okay, so uh, craft is the uh, parameter. Okay, it's a type uh, vessel and craft.parts is a list of parts and I'm looping uh, from each for each part inside uh, that uh, list and uh, I just want to for that if PRT so is uh, experiments uh, science experiments experiment okay so if that boolean is true I can add equal equal true but it is not needed I can just say if part uh, um, is a science experiment console uh, prints for example uh, not console like this print line uh, and I can uh, write for example the uh, part name so part name okay and I need this should be uh, like this okay uh, so I save that uh, reboot no error I can open the console and then okay so there is only one part in my uh, list that is an experiment uh, science science experiments and this is the uh, pod 1v conical crew and this is 
that uh, tin can. Okay, uh, this is not uh, um, a real. Well, this is the real name for KSP, but this is not the title here. For now, with a, a control system, we can't have access to that name. With KOS, you have access to the name of the part and uh, its title. But for now, we only have access uh, to uh, the, the real name of the parts. Okay, so this is good. And now I want to uh, print each experiment uh, inside that part. So if I look at the uh, documentation for one part, uh, if uh, is science experiments, okay. Uh, so I have access to uh, some science inside this, right? Uh, so if I look here, I have uh, the field science experiment and this is an optional field. So I have to use the value if I want to print some of uh, this. And uh, the type is a module science experiment. Okay. So um, here in my uh, script. Okay. So if uh, Take a console print part like this. Um, and uh, I want to uh, to save all the uh, experiment parts uh, maybe inside a list. Okay, so um, I can write uh, here and uh, let x list equals to uh, prt dot so science experiment. Up. Uh, so this is that type science experiment. This is optional. So I need here to write a value. Okay. And so that X list will be uh, the list of um, all the uh, science experiments. Okay, and if I click on that type here of module science experiments, and uh, I can uh, copy that, uh, I have access to experiments. Okay, and uh, this is a list okay of experiments from the KSP science. So this is not from KSP vessel, but from KSP science, right? But for now, I can just write this. Um, okay. So <clears throat> in uh, X list, no, oh, sorry, this is going there. Module science experiment. So I want the uh, value and I want to check the experiments. Okay. Okay. So uh, science experiments is from the parts. It's a fields from part. So uh, part dot science experiment. And because this is an optional uh, value, I have to uh, write in my script dot uh, value. And then for that type, I can have access to all the experiments. Okay. And this is a list. Okay. And so I create my uh, own uh, list here. Okay. And uh, for example, here, then I can say, okay, console uh, print a line uh, exp list dot um, the length of that list to know uh, how many uh, science, how many experiments I have in my uh, list here. So that should work. Good. No, this is an error, of course. Uh, no local variable concept of function uh, exp list. Uh, up and uh, here I can say, for example, uh, let x uh, list. Uh, this is okay. Uh, up. This is an empty list, and the type of that list will be uh, experiments. Okay. So back to uh, here. So this is the type here. Up. So I copy that, and then I past that here. Okay, so um, I want to say that my uh, exp list is a list of experiments. Okay, and for now the list is empty. And I can delete that. And uh, here I have to add uh, use experiments. 
from KSP science. Okay. No, no error. And then, okay. So only one experiments in the uh, pod uh, 1v conical crew. Okay, that's great. Uh, so now I want to uh, print some information about that uh, experiment. Okay, so uh, back to the documentation here. If I click on that uh, value, I have access to all those fields. Condition made, crew required, current experiment, uh, experiment state, uh, definition, and uh, all of this. Uh, for example, for definition here, I uh, need, this is a type KSP science experiment definition. So if I click on that, I have a data value, display name, ID, require CVA, sample value, etc. So uh, let me write a script and I show you that. All right, so I uh, didn't use all that uh, fields. I used a uh, condition met, uh, the current experiment uh, state, uh, current situation is valid, uh, definition, and uh, we'll see what it is, and uh, time to complete and valid locations, okay? And uh, you see the method, you can uh, run experiments or pause experiment or console experiment from uh, these methods. And uh, for the definition fields here, I use the uh, data value, the ID, and um, I didn't look at the requires EVA and uh, sample value and transmission site size. Okay, so uh, if you look at my uh, script now, so uh, the X list uh, is empty for each part that is a science experiment. I add in the X list the experiments of that part. Okay, uh, I uh, print the part name and then for each experiment in the uh, exp list okay i um, i print uh, all of this uh, i just notice that i want that for loop be inside that for loop because uh, i want for each part to print the name of the part and then to print the uh, list of uh, all uh, experiments okay um, and after that uh, I should here uh, said x list equals this okay I want to uh, uh, to um, empty uh, the list to clear the list because after that when I go back to a new part uh, I want the explicit to be uh, empty. Okay, uh, so uh, I use the exp definition ID. So for that, I uh, added uh, here the experiment uh, for KSP science, and I need to uh, add, I think, uh, definition, not maybe not. Okay, uh, so a definition ID, and then sample value, data value are from definition too, so there are definition fields, transmission side is uh, also a definition field, and uh, directly from the experiments field, I have current situation is valid, current experiment state, and uh, valid locations. Uh, valid locations is, um, here is a list of uh, research location. Okay, um, so I just want to know the length of uh, that uh, of that list. Okay, so that should uh, work. If I reboot that, okay, and now, oh, this is a lot. Yes, of course, I need to put that for loop inside the if here. This should be better now, so reboot that. Okay, so this is the uh, name of the part, uh, which is a science experiment. And for that part, I have the crew observation experiments. And the crew observation, the time to complete is zero, sample value zero, data value four, transmission size is five, situation valid, yes, it's true. 
and uh, current state ready. Okay, and the number of valid locations five. Uh, okay, and here if I go to EVA, okay, and I uh, run again. Now from EVA Kerbal, so this is a sort of parts, EVA Kerbal, I have two different uh, science experiments. I have the uh, survey, surface survey, okay, and the crew observation, the time to complete 10, sec to complete 10, se 10 seconds, sample value 18, data value 6, transmission size uh, 20. Uh, is the situation valid? Yes. Current state ready. Number of valid location? Only two. And for the crew observation, I have those values. Okay, so now maybe I want to add number of valid uh, locations. I want to add those uh, locations. So the field valid locations uh, give me an array of research location. And from that research location, I have access to the field science situation. Okay, and the science situation uh, give me the myth, gives me the methods uh, to string and I have access to that value, atmosphere, high orbit, landed, low orbit, known and splashed. So here, uh, I reboot, let me show you my script. I just added uh, that uh, line and a uh, separation line here. And uh, for, loc for, for location in each my X valid locations, okay, I want to print the science situation. Okay, uh, so no error here. Uh, okay, <laughs> this is normal. Uh, okay, well, uh, number of valid locations two landed and splashed. That means that the surface survey is uh, uh, only available uh, when I am landed or splashed. And the crew observation is uh, available in a high orbit, low orbit, atmosphere, landed and splashed. Okay, so uh, if I uh, just to clean a little my uh, script, uh, print, print line oh, should be better, I think. Root. Okay, <laughs> this is better. And uh, this way I have a separation between each of my experiments. Okay, so uh, if I go back uh, on the ship and I uh, reload that, so my crew observation here, uh, five valid location, high orbit, low orbit, atmosphere, landed, and splash. Okay, with a control system, you can't uh, run the uh, automatically the experiments. You have to manually click on the button. This is, uh, uh, this is too bad. <laughs> I wish there was a function to, uh, to, to run the experiment automatically, maybe it will one day but for now there is no um, no no button for that okay so i have to uh, to click on that uh, experiments button uh, okay so uh, this is it this is uh, how you can print the experiments i hope you enjoy that uh, video thank you for watching and uh, see you soon bye bye